What is going on Guardians? Briar Rabbit here. Today we're going to go over how to beat the Crota challenge in the Crota's End raid. Now, this is obviously the 390 light version of the raid released new with Age of Triumph. For the veterans to the raid, the people who did it in year one, here is the simplified version. No one Guardian can wield the sword more than once. That's it. That's the challenge. There are some other differences too. Crota summons the Oversoul every time he stands up and the Chalice of Light is back, but really it's all about having somebody new run the sword for every damage phase. Now, for everybody who is new to Crota's End, here is how to beat this fight. There are a couple of things you should know before getting started too. One, your ability to regenerate health is gone. The presence of Crota debuff means you will have to get your health back in other ways if you get damaged. Red Death, helmets that regen health on orb pickup, and later the Chalice of Light will help you do this. Two, while Crota's shields can be taken down with conventional weaponry, the only way to take down his health bar is with the sword that the sword bearer drops in the pit. Okay, let's get started. At the beginning of the fight, select four sword carriers from your team. You'll probably only need three, but select four just in case. Now, put them in order of who will go first, second, third, and if necessary, fourth. This will determine in which order your teammates drop down to the pit, pick up the sword, and jump up to damage Crota. More on that later. Now that the order has been established, everybody on the raid team must stand next to the crystal in the room where the Death Singer spawned earlier. This will drop a force field on all sides of the room and start the encounter. At this point, two knights and several acolytes will spawn in on the other side of both entrances' force fields. When the force field raises, simply kill them all. It's generally a good idea to use supers here to generate orbs for later. Once all four knights and the acolytes are dead, everyone can exit the room to the left to begin your first damage phase. Be careful of the boomer knights up on the balcony when exiting, though. At this point, have your raid team stay on this platform for the rest of the damage phase. Have a defender titan pop a bubble for protection from the boomer knights at this point. If you kill both boomers, a wizard will spawn on the bridge near Crota. Find it easier if you don't have to deal with her, so kill one boomer if you want, but leave one and use the Titan's bubble for protection from its rockets. At this point, your entire fire team's focus should be on the middle door in the bottom of the pit. A red sword bearer knight will emerge from this door. At this point, your fire team's sword carrier should jump down and start heading to the large rectangular rock in the center just below Crota. Here, he will pick up the Chalice of Light. The Chalice is an artifact that allows whoever holds it to regain their health back. As your sword bearer drops down, the other five members of the fire team should be pumping damage into the red sword bearer to kill him. Snipers, grenades, nova bombs, tethers, whatever you got here, just kill that sword bearer fast. Once he's dead, your team's sword carrier should grab that sword and run to the left set of rocks next to Crota's platform. Once he reaches this, he yells fire and immediately jumps up onto the platform and runs at Crota. As the sword carrier yells fire, everyone else on the fire team unleashes a volley of rockets at Crota to bring his shield down and knock him down to his knees. Once in range, the sword carrier should push forward on the left control stick and hit the heavy smash attack three times before retreating to the rocks again. At this point, Crota will stand up and summon an Oversoul, a big green eyeball looking thing directly above him. When the Oversoul appears, have one hunter golden gun this immediately. It'll destroy it right away. The rest of your fire team will again fire another volley of rockets at Crota to take him down to his knee once more. As this second set of rockets is fired, your sword carrier should be jumping up off the rocks he retreated to to do another two sword heavy attacks. And this time at the end, he'll have a super built up so he can use his super attack as well for extra damage. 
Once these three attacks are performed by the sword carrier, he should immediately retreat toward his fire team. The rest of the fire team will wait for Crota to stand back up, and once again, as he summons the Oversoul, destroy the Oversoul. They should concentrate all fire on that Oversoul until it is destroyed. It takes a lot of damage. Then retreat into the Crystal Room while Crota moves to the right side platform. At this point, any member of the fire team low on health can grab the Chalice of Light from the Sword Carrier and get their health back. Watch Crota through the glass on the Crystal Room for the moment he starts to walk back towards the main platform. Once he does this, he will repeat the process all over again. Kill the sword bearer in the pit. Grab his sword. Fire rockets at Crota to take down his shields. Hit him three times with the sword. Kill the Oversoul. Drop Crota's shields. Hit him twice more, then super him. And once again, kill the Overshield. After the second phase of damage is complete and the Oversoul is destroyed, your entire fire team should run to the room under the boomer balcony in the front right. Jump up on a door frame for safety and await an ogre that will appear in this room. Kill this ogre quickly and then move to the entrance of this room to start shooting at another ogre that spawned on the opposite side. Once both ogres are dead, run out of the room up the stairs to the left and once again wait in the crystal room until Crota goes back to his middle platform. Once he does this, repeat your damage phase with your fire team's third sword carrier. If you complete three phases of full damage each, Crota will die, and you have my permission to teabag his corpse. Now, obviously along the way, something could go wrong. That's why I say keep a fourth sword bearer in mind. However, if he has any less than 20% of his health left, he will become enraged and it will be nearly impossible for you to finish the job. So if it's getting close to 20% and you don't think you're going to kill him with this sword, you may just want to drop the sword, come back, and rely on your fourth sword bearer to get the job done. Of course, all of this is a bit complicated and requires a lot of moving parts, so here are some tips to make it a bit easier. Elect a raid captain who calls out when to fire rockets. It's important that there is one voice doing this and not six. When the captain says fire, all rockets should be fired immediately and the sword carrier should begin running towards Crota. If this is confusing because there are three people who called fire at three different times, it is very easy for your sword carrier to get dead. Golden guns are a great way of taking out the overshield. Have one take it out for the first overshield of every damage phase. Then the rest of your fire team can concentrate on taking out Crota's shields. And then as the second overshield comes up, the whole fire team can concentrate on the second overshield. But having the golden gun take care of that first overshield really does allow your entire fire team to just concentrate on taking down Crota's shields. Make orbs. If you have a super, make some orbs. Tethers are great for locking down the sword bear. Nova bombs are great for clearing ads at the beginning of the fight. Bubbles are great for protecting your team. Use your supers and drop orbs so your fire team can use their supers too. Put on a helmet that can regenerate health on orb pickup. Use a weapon with life support. Get creative with your loadout and encourage others to do so as well. And finally, communicate. Memorize the rotations and your responsibilities, and success will come. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.